Hello, welcome students. So in the previous lecture, we have designed the heel slab. So today we shall design the toe slab. For understanding, let us just go through what all we have done in the previous lectures. Okay. So initially this was the question and we started with the design of cantilever beam. And in the first step, we just calculated its dimension. So we got the overall depth then the thickness, then the height of the stem, width of the base slab. We decided the dimension and this is how the diagram looked like. So we had stem portion here. We had this base slab. We divided into two parts. One is heel slab and toe slab. We already designed the stem and we already designed the heel slab. So today we shall see how the toe slab is designed. Now initially the design of stem we did in this fashion. And we arrived at a movement of 163.66 kN per meter. And this we calculated the required depth for it. And we provided a tapering section. As you can uh, see in the diagram, here you can see in the diagram a tapering section from 200 mm at the top and 450 mm at the below side. So we uh, provided a tapering section of stem from 200 mm to to 450 mm at the base and this is the reinforcement for it. So we provided 10 mm diameter bars at 250 mm center center on both the faces. Next we designed the base uh, slab. For the design of base slab we just did the stability calculation. So uh, considering W1 here you can see the sulphate of the stem, W2 sulphate of the base and W3 the soil which is present here. Uh, with respect to this, we just computed the pressures and the uh, pressure for distribution. So W1, we got so much of force and movement, W2, so much of force and movement, W3, so much of force and movement. So we computed the movement and the force. So force worked out to be 203.044 and 325.202 movement. Here, you can see we worked out the eccentricity also. So eccentricity being 0 0.101 meter which is less than uh, b by 6 hence we continued with eccentricity being 0 0.101 only and calculated the minimum and maximum pressures at the base lab that is we computed the minimum and maximum pressure at this point. So after computing we came to know that the maximum pressure is 81.35 kN per meter square and minimum pressure being 54 kN per meter square and depending upon this the pressure distribution is trapezoidal. So the pressure distribution is shown here you can see. So from point A to D so the minimum pressure is acting here and the maximum pressure is acting here. Now in this diagram you can see uh, the this is the base lab and we need to design. So considering all the forces and uh, the activities present at the top we design the base lab. So the pressure distribution at this point is higher and at this point is lower as you can see in this diagram. So it is higher here and lower here. But we also wanted to know how it is in just below this. That is where the stem is acting. So we divide these points into A, B, C and D. So I know what is the pressure distribution at, at this point that is at A and what is the pressure distribution at point uh, D. So you can see in this diagram, so pressure distribution at A and pressure distribution at D. Now I wanted to know how is the forces acting at these two points also. So we just took this point B and C and we computed this so it worked out to be so much here 68.13 and 72.43. Okay. Now just after this, we just started with the design of heel slab. Design of heel slab in the sense this portion. Design of heel slab which is acting in the base slab. So this was the rectangular portion considered for the design of heel slab which was 1.55 meter by 450 mm. So here you can see, so we took the move bending, maximum bending moment on the heel slab is calculated by taking the moment of all force about the point B. Now where is the point B? You can see here the point B is here which is exactly lying at this point. So about this one. So we took all the forces acting on the heel slab towards the B point. Now here what all forces will act? The self weight of heel slab will act. 
the self rate of the earth will act as well as the pressure will contribute to some part. So we just computed here and we got the movement as 116.323. But this pressure distribution will have some effect on the below from the below part here upward pressure. So it will reduce the uh, components. So it will come in deduction. So we started with the deduction. So upward pressure I divided this pressure distribution diagram. So from A to B the pressure distribution is considered. So from A to B this is a trapezoidal section and I divided this into A, B, I, H one rectangle that is this and a uh, second portion triangular that is this. So considering this I just took the force and the moment. So taking the area as the force so A, B, I, H. So A, B, A, B, I, H being a, a, a rectangular section of 54 by 1.55 meter this would be 1.55 so that comes here so 54 into 1.55 so it works out to be 4 so much and the movement is taken about b so from here it will act at center till here so from this point to this point is nothing but half so half of point 1.55 so multiplying this force by this i got 64.86 now next is the triangular portion to be considered that is g i and h so this is a triangular portion so area of this will be half base into height so it is half base into height i got so much force 10.95 and the cg distance being acting at this point from here towards b so it will be one thirds of this distance so one thirds of 1.55 so force multiplied by perpendicular distance i got so much of moment so this is a movement and the total deduction is so much so the movement worked out to be 69.06 kN meter and for this movement the hill slab is designed as per IS456 and we computed the area of steel as 484 mm square and provided 12 mm diameter at 200 mm center to center spacing. Now today we shall design the toe slab. Now where is the toe slab? This here you can see this is the toe slab portion. Now it's just, it is again a rectangular section of dimension 450 mm by 1 meter that is 1000 mm and what are the forces acting so it has a self weight and also so much of ground is acting over which is at a height of 1.23 from the base of this slab. Now let us see so the maximum bending moment in a toe slab is determined by taking movement of all the forces about the point C. Now where is the point C this is the point C that means if I see the above diagram, this is the point C. So taking the moment about this point C. So let us see. So taking the moment about this point. So what is the pressure distribution coming in this toe slab portion? So this is a toe slab portion. So the pressure distribution to be considered is C, D, E and this portion. So this is a trapezoid. Again, I will divide this into a rectangle and a triangle. So rectangle being C, D, J, H. So this rectangle is of the section and this is a triangular section. So let us see. So low loads. So upward forces. So this is 72.23 into 1. This is a force. Now it is acting at the point C. So this rectangle is half of this. So it will act from here till here. So half of this portion. So it is nothing but 1 meter divided by 0.5. So for 72.23 into 0.5 meter, I got movement as 36.115 kilonewton meter. Now the triangular portion, you can see a triangular portion here. So this triangular portion, so area of which it will be a force, so half base into height. So force being upward pressure, half a base into height, so 9.12, so 4.56 and it will act from this cg of the triangle is here and it has to go till point c so it is two thirds of this distance so two thirds of one which is 0.66 so force 4.56 multiplied by 0.666 i got 3.036 as the moment so now this is the uh, deduction part which is the upward pressure acting okay now let us see the self weight you can see this uh, rectangular section of 1 meter by 0.45 meter and it is a concrete so area of this will be 
1 into 0.45 into 24. So it is 1 into 0.45 into 24. The force which is 10.8 kN. And it will act from this point to C. That you can see from this point to here. So it will be half of 1 that is 0.5 the distance. So force 10.8 into 0.5 meter distance I got 5.4 as the moment. Now you can see in this diagram on the toe slab so much of earth is also lying. So considering this earth on it so I need so so much of earth is acting. So that is also act downwards due to center of gravity and the density of the soil is given. So I will consider this rectangular portion and triangular portion and solve. Now let us see. So this is 0.78 into 1 into 18. So 14.04 is the force acting and the CG again half of this. So it will be 1 half of 1. So 14.04 into 0.5 I got 7.02. So this is the 12.42 uh, as the downward load. So downward load uh, moment is acting 12.42 and upward as 38.5. 151. So maximum shear with load bending moment in toe slab is this minus this which is 25.73 kN meter. Factor moment multiplying it with 1.5. So I am getting it as 25.73. So the moment working out to be is 38.595 kN meter. Now as I got the moment, uh, let us calculate the area of the steel required that is reinforcement in it. So as per IS 456-2000 and the clause number G1.1 which is on page 96. So this is a formula. So I substitute that is MU is equal to 0.87 uh, Fi AST into BD 1 minus 415 AST divided by BD into FCK. So substituting everything I arrived at AST 275 mm square which is less than the AST minimum. As it is less than AST minimum, we shall provide a minimum of 0.12%. So 0.12 divided by 100 into B into D. So P is 1000 and 450, is there. So providing as we have earlier calculated, providing 12 mm diameter at 200 mm center to center. Now this completes the design. So you can see if I just uh, go through. So the reinforcement for the heel sl uh, toe slab is providing 12 mm diameter at 200 mm center center. Same ways for the uh, heel slab is uh, 12 mm diameter at 200 mm center center. And for the uh, stability calculation which you calculated, and here it is provide 10 mm diameter at bar side 250 mm center to center on both the pieces. This is on the stem side. Now let us see the checks now here you can see the check for safety against the sliding as you can see in the diagram here so this part may be required it may slide hence we will check for safety against sliding so, so top horizontal earth pressure so the pressure acting here you can see the pressure p is equal to k omega h squared divided by so this is 0 0.33 into 18 into 5.23 square divided by 81.23 kN. Assuming coefficient of friction mu is equal to 0.5. If the coefficient of friction is given, we have to use that. Now I am assuming as it is not given in the question paper. So maximum force is nothing but the frictional coefficient multiplied by the this force. Now this force comes from the stability calculation. Just I will show it to you. This is the moment. Moment. So you can just check here from the stability calculation part. You can see this is the force 203.044. So here mu into W. So 0.5 into force. So 101.522 kilometer. So factor of safety against a sliding is nothing but this value 101.522 divided by the earth horizontal earth pressure 81.23 kN which is 1.24 which should be less than 1.5 okay but what is happening it is it is uh, it should be more than 1.5 hence it is 1.24 less than 1.5 hence unsafe providing a shear key below as this for the safety it may slide hence we need to provide a shear key now where the shear key is provided at this portion here shear key is provided 
so let us design that also so design of shear key if pp is the intensity of passive pressure developed just in front of the shear key so pp is equal to kp into p so kp is what pressure per 1 plus sin phi divided by 1 minus sin phi phi is already given and which is 1 upon k which is working out to be 3 where p is the soil pressure just in front of the shear key so 72.23 kN per meter square so this you can see here it is 72.23 kN per meter square just here at this section you can see at this section so 3 into 72.23 which is working out to be 216.69 kN per meter square if a is the depth of the shear key so we will keep the shear key depth same as k so of depth of the slab so 450 mm so total passive force pa is equal to pp into a which is 216.69 into a is 450 mm into 1 which is 97.51 kN hence factor of safety against sliding is factor of safety is equal to mu w plus pp divided by p so this mu w as you can see here we have computed mu w here 101.22 kN plus 97.51 divided by 81.35 that is p which we have calculated 81.35 okay so here it is 2.4 which is greater than 1.5 so minimum percentage of reinforcement in shear key we will provide 0.3 percent so it is 0.3 divided by 100 which is 0 0.003 into b into d into 415 to 1000 which is 1350 mm square so for this we will provide a 16 mm diameter bars at 140 mm set to center now let us see shear stress at the junction so what is the shear force v is equal to 1.5 summation of p minus mu w we already know 1.5 and p we have calculated which is 81.35 minus this component is nothing but the horizontal pressure which is 101.525 which works out to be 20.5 kN so factored shear force 1.5 into 20.5 kN which is 30.75 kN nominal shear stress which is 30.75 that is this shear force divided by b into d so 30.75 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 1000 into 450 which is 0 0.068 newton per mm square now from table number 19 page 73 we can see that 100 ast by bd which is 100 into this ast 1350 divided by 1000 into 450 is, is equal to 0.3 Table number 19 and page number 73 gives that tau c is equal to 0.36 newton per mm square. Hence, which is greater than this component nominal shear stress, which is 0.068 newton per meter. Hence, the shear stresses are within the safe limits. So, uh, this is how the reinforcement is designed using for this uh, cross section. So, cross section is decided 200 mm stem cross section 200 mm at top, 450 mm at bottom. And a base above uh, one uh, heel slab of 1.55 meter and 0.445 meter depth, and a toe slab of 1 meter and height of 45.45 uh, meter. And we calculated from this pressure distribution. So, this is how the design of retaining wall is done. So, this is how the designing of retaining wall, and this is how the reinforcement. So, reinforcement we shall calculate in the next class. So till then just uh, go through the design for all the components and thank you.